How are we being punished? Hey guys, so I just want to do a quick video here, you know, on the concept or belief that, you know, there's this big angry God up there, jealous and, um, you know, convicting, condemning, um, judging, um, and we're going to be judged. Um, are we going to be punished, right, for the things that we're doing um, and things, whatnot? Um, I did a video on that, and that's about the karmic overlay um, and how we are only um, judging ourselves. There's no higher power or source that is love that is going to judge you. That is just a conditioning and a belief system um, from religion to get you to do and act in a certain way, which is uh, control and force. Um, now, if, if that's what re resonates with you and how you need to um, get your life in order, then that's great. However, um, it's a fallacy, it's a false um, teaching. Um, for me, I prefer um, not listening and going by false teachings to frighten and fear, instill control and conditioning you know, over myself, because there's an internal desire within yourself for freedom. And that's why there's change. There's an innate, um, there's this innate um, aspect of ourselves, we'll just call it that, um, that um, needs to be free. And when there's you no know, freedom, um, it's constraint. And then what happens in that situation, we go back, we go into, um, kind of like a fight, a fight or flight scenario, right? And so, and then we can become um, outside of our alignment, sort of say, right? So what happens if you become um, trapped, you know, um, you're wanting, you're going to want freedom, right? So it's like you become like, um, you either are going to fight your way out of it or you're going to succumb, right, to conditioning and fear-based teachings. So um, with that being said, you know, that's just their way of having, you know, what they do. Um, and that's, I don't want to go too much into that. But anyway, um, going back to, you know, the belief on that we're being punished, uh, we're not. We're only um, responsible for ourselves. We're the only ones that are judged. Um, that is, you know, our life review. And so if you haven't already checked out my video, you know, on the karmic overlay and explaining that, I'll post those at the end here and you can check that out. Um, but um, we're only in judgment of ourselves and that's the way it's been set up, right? So there's no need for any higher source, God, um, anything uh, to be judging ourselves, right? So we do that. It's an internal system that's been set up within ourselves. Um, it's part of the ecosystem and the way that things are created. Um, now, if we are aware of who we are in that sense of our being in the way that world, the world works, the universe, um, the systems within itself that's been created by source, you'll know that there is no um, judgment from source. It's love. It's divine love. That's all it is, right? Um, there's a, been a system within ourselves that's been created that judges itself by its pattern that knows itself from that which it doesn't and so it creates this internal view system within ourselves to help us bring ourselves to our our will which is the power of source right and from where we're not right and so we have either we're being ourselves or we're being you know our true self right so which one are we being? And this goes into other conversations and topics that I have put out there in videos. Um, but it's this internal, um, I don't want to say rules, but there's like a database, right, if you will, a computer system, um, intelligence system that has been set up within us um, that just knows, right? Because like in my video about the karmic overlay, and I've had this experience when in my death experience, going back and having life review, love just overtakes you because we're back home in the space of divine love, right? And so when you do your life review from that space of love, you're able to, and it's not about condemning or anything like that. Um, 
it's about, okay, I, I see what happened here. So how can I go back and make that better or change it or realize it from a different perspective? And then so we come back and do another life, right? And then another life review and then another life and then another life review. However, <laughs> you know, and I talk about the karmic overlay by doing a life review now, right? Instead of going over there, put yourself in the space of love now and look at it from that perspective and about your life situations that you've created and then do your life review now instead of waiting to pass, you know, getting back into that space of, space of love and then doing the come back into another life when you can do it now, right? There's no reason why you can't do it now. Every now in the moment is a new moment to make change in your life, right? So whether that's healing, forgiving, forgetting, moving on, you know, create something new, take a new career, um, uh, many, many opportunities for change. Anyway, it's not, there's no figure up there, you know, that is judging you. It's all you, right? You're like, and been in created in like a God of yourself because you are of your own creation. Uh, you're of the creation that source created, but within that you have your own ability to create your life, right? So you're like a God in this space, but we're in the human form to do this and to bring ourselves into divine grace, right? Which is um, the abundance, the happiness, the bliss. And so we have that incarnate and um, process within ourselves. And that's why there is judgment, but judgment is bad, deemed bad or, you know, we're going to, <clears throat> you know, you're going to reap the karma that you reaped. No, it's in a different way. Um, but there's these internal knowings and processes that are within you that a lot of people don't know about. And so through my awakening and understanding, um, I've learned about them. And so I've been working with them um, with myself. And so that's why I want to share these with you because it's, it's part of who we are. Right. And if we know about it, which these things have been hidden from us um, uh, so that we don't do that, and we rely on others to help us heal, um, to be a part of the society because, OK, we have somebody to help heal us. What is it? You know, doctors, medicines, things like that, which only cover up the issue. They don't resolve the seed, the plant. That's actually the reason why we have the issue. Um, and then for our spiritual connection, if we give it to somebody else, um, we have somebody else doing it for us and we don't, it, it's part of the separation and from our true self um, that all this is created here because we've forgotten, you know, everything that is internal for us that's been created in our favor, right? And so um, allowing us to reconnect with that, you know, on our awakening journey, tuning in, meditating, getting out of the mind, stop relying on the world outside of us and tune back into and developing our divine connection with source, who we are. We are part of it. We're a spark of source creation in the creation of the world, but we're creating unto ourselves, right? Our, our world experience. So we have the innate being um, of the, okay, this is not judgment as, you know, it's more of a discernment, right? So, okay, so I see what I did here. I'm able to see from the space of love because when we go and pass over, we become in the space of love, right? And that's the shedding of the human self into the back to the normal form, our original form. So when we're in that space, love just fills us up and then we do our life review. From that point, we're able to see what we've done, right? As we're doing the life review. And then from the space of the... Um, life re review in the space of divine love, which is source, because uh, we shed the uh, life, you know, from that we've come from. Um, in that space, we're able to look back at what we've done in the life review, and then we're able to, you know, discern whether we're going back or we're going to make changes. It's never about having to be punished, right? And so that's just a false belief that's been set up for you to coerce you, if you will, into, you know, doing this and doing that and, you know, living your life good, you know, and it's like, um, and we do want to live a life that's good. I'm not saying that we shouldn't or we don't have to or we wouldn't want to do that, but um, it's the way you go about it, you know, having the um, fear-based belief and system, you know, that you're going to be punished if you don't, you know, and um, that doesn't doesn't do anything for me, doesn't resonate, right? So, um, you know, looking at it from this point of love, 
does, right? Because that's to me is true. Because source is, is love. Um, it's nothing other than love. Um, because it's all, right? It's it's all, and it's either love or it's not love. It can't be both, right? Um, where are the stream of consciousness that comes from love into all these other things? And so that's where we have the judgment, right, of where we are on our path at that time, um, that we're acting from that space because we can't be anything more than what we are in that moment of who we are, right? And so from that space, we're able to see and how we act and the things that we do from that space. And then, um, like I said, when, um, when this life is over, you know, we go and do the, the life review, but we're the only ones that are attainable to ourselves. We're the only ones that judge ourselves. Um, and it's not really even in the judgments, right? It's seen from based from the, the view of love. So um, if you could put yourself in that space and see your life from that space now, then you're going to see, okay, this is what maybe I can change or how I can go about this differently, you know, or how can I um, make my better my life better. Um, it's not really about judgment because judgment is also, again, um, deemable, you know, as uh, punishable or um, wrong or right or bad or good, which there isn't any of that. It's just seeing from the space of love, right? And that's more of a discernment kind of situation um, to put words around it, you know, um, but seeing from the space of love, um, we're able to make our lives different, you know. And so that's more of about what it, what it really is comes down to um, versus, you know, we're being punished or, you know, there's somebody up there judging us, you know. <laughs> um, and that's a belief system. That's not right. It's not true, I should say. Um, but anyway, I don't know if that helps you, um, but it's something that has helped me learning and gaining this knowledge through my waking and understanding that these... Um, uh, universal, I want to call them like a universal, I don't want to call it like a program, but it, it is uh, like a program that, that's running internally within ourselves that helps us gain awareness and wisdom in our lives to bring that in to the present moment so we can gain momentum in that way, which brings us to our divine love, right? So it's, um, it's more about that uh, versus, you know, being punished because we're never being punished again and we're never being judged by anything other than ourselves, right? From where we are. And that's basically either we're in the space of love or we're not, right? And so how we judge the world, how we judge others, how we judge ourselves, um, you know, from where we are in life and who we're being in the present moment versus love, which is source. So if we can gather ourselves in enough to be able to bring that to our forefront in the understanding, you know, we'll have a better understanding of life and how it is, you know, not just for ourselves, but for all people uh, of where we are. And, that, and again, I don't know if that makes sense to you. If you have any questions or want to set up a one-to-one um, -one coaching, we can kind of go more in depth on that. And um, also, again, I'm working on you know making some gatherings and things like that to help bring these teachings and uh, knowledge that I've learned through my awakening, my death experience, and things like that. So, all right. Um, just drop any questions or concerns, or uh, if you wanted to book a session, reach out to me, um, and we'll get something set up. All right, happy journeys, and happy uh, 2024.